welcoming today, making him the Hello, my friends. As a resident of Wyoming, I found a case that's pretty interesting called the Wyoming Incident, or sometimes known as the Wyoming Hijacking. It's a lesser-known case of television broadcast hijacking, hacking, that happened in the early 2000s, around 2008, in which a hacker managed to interrupt broadcasts from a local news channel, um, that some of you might be familiar with out of the county of Niobrara. I don't mention local news channels much anymore specifically because they tend to not like me very much and, uh, you know, play nicely with fair usage and such forth. So I won't call them out, but you can see in the footage um, kind of what happened here. It's an actual original clip with a few edits due to the fact that some of it is just not appropriate for YouTube. Um, but in this clip, you know, there's numerous pieces of disembodied human heads uh, showing various emotions poses the camera changes often usually every 10 to 15 seconds we'll see some kind of change and an interruption saying there's a special presentation and these weird strange messages um, the video is locally well known in some circles but something i had not even heard um, the video is locally well known in some circles but something i had never even heard about and something that would probably be a lot more popular if it weren't for the fact that, uh, you know, it came out of Wyoming and not everybody in the world knows about it. But it did have an apparent effect on a few of the residents who watched it throughout its entire uh, six plus minutes of runtime. Uh, people apparently complained about having hallucinations, headaches, vomiting. And some people believe that it was paranormal. I think you're always going to get people that kind of go out with that stuff. Uh, specialists determined that the cause of those afflictions were frequencies played throughout the clip. Um, especially ones that were played somewhere between 17 and 19 hertz. A range of frequencies that it's kind of known when played for a long time to kind of mess with your eyes and do some weird things to your brain. Uh, the video is significant in that it's one of the most recent television hijackings. Now, such actions were rare even in the 80s, back when, you know, Chicago's Max Headroom incident happened. But they're even more rare today. They're, you know, mostly been stopped and don't see them happen. And to this day, the hacker has not yet been caught. Uh, attempts to trace the video have kind of been, you know, led to nothing. And it was probably one of them is the scariest... Uh, television hijackings of all time in some ways worse than the max headroom incident when you actually watch it it's really creepy what happened uh so i just thought i'd show you guys it uh the full video is out there and the full audio if you want to check it out but it's kind of disturbing and a lot of the details have been covered up just don't get talked about a whole lot but as a you know as a wyoming resident myself it's interesting to see a part of this strange cultural phenomenon that happened to us anyways my friends if you like this video want to see more creepy stuff like it i talk about this kind of stuff like every week so make sure to hit the subscribe button and like if you want to see more of that thanks to the patrons of this channel for supporting it always you can become a patron yourself and support the channel if you feel the need and i hope you guys have a good day adios amigos